One group in our community wants to showcase just how talented and accessible they are when people get past the barriers. We're talking about the deaf community who can often be overlooked by many of us who don't know how to interact with them. But as ABC 15 Arizona's Josh Crescianto found out, there's a lot they want to be loud about. It might sound quiet to you, but everyone here is having a roaring good time. Silence, however, isn't as golden as Shannon Kidder's proverbial Midas touch. So last February, I was thinking about buying um, a laser, and I just kind of fell in love with the technology. I learned how to use it, and it was a good challenge. Kidder has turned her love of art into a business, selling beautiful wooden crafts and other decorative pieces. Here at the Phoenix Association of the Deaf's Market Day, the customers just come rolling through. Elsewhere, it's much harder. I've done it with hearing people in the past, and it's hard to communicate with them sometimes because, you know, we don't speak the same language. A lot of hearing people are nervous to communicate with us. We encourage them to learn and try. We're not going to oppress you. We really want to communicate with you, and we want to share our culture. The point of the market is to share that culture and to show that deaf people are just as capable as anyone. It's what Eslin's mom wants for her daughter. Cancer and chemo took away most of Eslin's hearing at a young age. About a year ago, we started learning ASL, and she has really just thrived with it. Organizers are already working on their next deaf market day, and you can check out our website, abc15.com, to find more information. Josh Cristiano, ABC 15, Arizona.